Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a, tra a cool transition that we can do using our masking tool. I'll show you four examples of that. Let's see. Okay, and if you noticed, we see an object coming from outside the screen, inside the screen, and takes over. And in this example, we have an object coming into the screen, then our background changes. Before we get it started, if you don't know about masking, you better watch this tutorial and you will get the idea of masking. Okay, so let's get it started. We first bring our footage we drop it on the trimmer we look for the scene we want to use for example this one okay we press tab to import our video only to our timeline okay we place it in the lower layer then we bring our second footage and what we are going to look for here is an object coming from outside our scene like Luffy's leg in this example into the scene okay so we import the first frame where the object came inside our scene okay then you press tab to import the video only to our timeline you place it wherever you want there must be some overlapped area between the two footage we will need to copy this one and paste it at the same time and right here we want them to fade in and out we have everything ready right now to get it started we come to over to the event pan crop tool and we start masking Luffy's foot I guess that's enough to show you as an example okay and if we come back here we will notice the change you see Luffy's leg coming in and we don't need to mask the whole thing we just need to mask until our background takes over our scene I mean until here so now we continue masking our footage okay so if we preview our video now you will see how it came in so smoothly so nicely okay right now we have the main thing ready now we need to add some touches to make it look better what I usually do I split it right here when our object start getting into the scene split press S and I add some effects okay start this one with zero for example and end it with 0.3 and for for the blur let it start with um, for example 0 and end with 0 0.01 or make it 2 for example and the coloring let it start normally and end with black and white so what I wh why I usually do this it's because now our focus in the video is Luffy's leg like not the, the scene behind it and you can do many things using, using that you can you can find your own way of using it that's set for today and uh, I want you guys to as always leave a video response of what you have tried and uh, right now I am trying to improve my tutorials so I want you guys to leave a comment if you have any suggestion how can I improve myself I just want to tell you guys that from now on I'll be doing one tutorial a week and it will be uploaded on every Saturday. So hope you got something new from this tutorial. It's Milos Control. Peace.